that's in there. Wipe that down. That's clean. It's funny, it's running out like the Dickens out here, but I uh, I damn straight dialed it in close to where I was cutting, so what I've already turned. Safety glasses on. Don't want to break the tick. These are Harbor Freight Center combination drill so I don't expect they'll hold up too long but if I take care of them maybe so I can get some real tools these will do these I'm telling you what these bits are sharp as I'll get out now they work That, that'll work. Yeah. And there's the little recess in there and I'll squirt some lube in there. I'll probably use grease and I'll dope the grease with oil every time I get a chance because it's going to be riding on that on this center and I assume it's hardened being as how hard I just clamped down on those jaws and they didn't leave a mark. It hardly left a mark on here. Uh, there's a little bit. They hardly left a mark on this piece. This is pretty good steel. Alright, I set up back again here. I grabbed a piece of crap stock. Something out of the yard. Just some mild steel, whatever. I don't know what it was. came off the welding truck. So, and I've got my compound set at 60 degrees. I've already fed in 10, 15 thousandths there and started cutting the nose on it and uh, here we'll uh, continue. Feeding in five thousandths at a time on the cross slide. We live in a special kind of space.
And we don't want this center to be dead center anyway because you're just going to break it off or hurt yourself. Well, getting closer. Another ten thousandths and Close to a tip. Uh, it looks like we'll have to take another ten. All right, this should be the last one. I'll take five and five just to smooth it out. I'm try to slow as possible. Feed this. So now I can run that shaft between centers. Alright, so now we have uh, the next in the series of uh, issues to work through to get this to happen. Okay, I've got the, the new center. Got it between centers. There's a threaded hole. There's a small one on this side and the bigger one is here. So I can keep threading this bolt through it. I'll probably put something shorter in there. But at any rate, this is the dog that I have. And it's too small. Alright, we're back. I uh, was going to make a dog. And I had a... Uh, I got a piece here that I was going to use. And I was going to cut these out for... Uh, to push up against the jaws on the three jaw chuck and use that as a driver but uh, I decided against that because I want to turn the taper against the headstock because that's I get chatter when I'm out here on this end with this uh, long of a bar so I'm going to flip it around when I go to turn the taper and I'll be cutting into the headstock or away away from the headstock with the uh, taper there so um, so I can get a better finish and uh, tighter, tighter cut. So this dog is made for a half inch shaft and it needs a half inch shoulder to sit on. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to machine this down. We're real close here to a half an inch already. So I'm going to bring it down to a half an inch and I'm going to widen it out a little bit so that when I flip it over I can uh, screw the dog in here. And I guess that'll just be a little bit extra of material to hit against to with uh, to use the driver to get it out of the headstock. So we're oiled up. We're ready to go. We'll get our speed up. Well, leave it. We'll leave it here. This is this is good enough. And I've already I dialed this back in. Now I'm running true. Safety glasses. We live in a special kind of space.
see what we get. Oh, we're still over. We'll find out how much. Alright, so we're sitting pretty close to 550. Just under. Just over. Oh no, 5. 576 is where I'm sitting. So, was 76 divided by 2 is 30. 38 thousandths. But uh, I'm not going to go for that all in one. We'll sneak up on it. So we'll start back here at. Uh, we'll just start with. Uh, you know what? And I'm going to engage the feed now. Just to get a little bit finer finish on here. Saw a good video from uh, Halligan 142 on how to oil and take care of a South Bend lathe, and he pointed out quite a few bits and pieces and parts that I wasn't aware of on my own. So uh, if you have questions, it's a good video to refer to. So we were at 65. Go back in. Sixty-five. 70, 65 plus 20, we'll just go to 85 for now. Thousands, I should have taken forty thousands off here. Should have taken forty thousands off. And where was I? I five seventy six before. And I'm at five. Is that 525 plus 10, 535? Okay, so I'm pretty close. That's pretty close. I went from 76 to 35, a thousandth more. We'll start again. Maybe I should have a slower feed on this. 
much slower speed. We'll try that, see if I can get some of that chatter out. So we're at 535, I need to take 35 thousandths off at a minimum. I could go under half and uh, that would be okay on that dog, I believe. Um, but let's let's aim for it. Uh, Thirty-five thousand. I mean, seventeen thousand. So let's go five. I don't hear any harmonics, so it appears to have taken the chatter out. And we're at 95. All right, find the groove. For what, 17? That's 15 right there. The chips last, they, they string out longer if you don't put cutting fluid on it, it seems. Check it. Sneak up on it. Oh, look at that. Three thousands to go. Three thousands. So I only got to crank in one and a half, and I'll nail it. That's it, one and a half. I really should get a chip brush and an oil brush, that way they're not one and the same. Check it again. Yeah. Just for the camera. Oh, right on it. Right at half an inch. As far as my uh, micrometer reads, it's not been calibrated and I got it at a garage sale, so. But it's all relative, that's what I measured the inside of the, uh, I used my cheapo plastic calipers to put inside the bore of that dog, wherever it went, right here. So, it's not like it was a very scientific method, and then I mic that. And it appeared to be a half an inch, and then I measured the outside, and it appeared to be a, a half an inch thick, and I thought that's probably how they designed it, so that's where I am. Alright, 
So I'll check the depth, make sure I went in far enough. Oh yeah, I got a uh, sixteenth of an inch past a half. So what is that? Five sixteenth or nine sixteenths? I've got nine sixteenths, and I needed a half. So we're good. Pull this out. And then we can flip it around. <laughs> 